We're going to talk about ratio now, and ratio is very uh, closely uh, linked to direct proportion, yeah, because ratio tells us something about the relationship between um, yeah, certain quantities. Okay, now let's have a look at an example, um, yeah, because it's always a little bit easier. If I have, in my classroom, I have, let's say, uh, 14 boys, and 18 girls. Yeah, I'm just making it up. Okay. Now I could represent that in a, uh, as a particular ratio, where I have 14 boys as a ratio to 18 girls. Okay. I'm just using the sign for boys and girls. Okay. And the way you pronounce it is 14 boys as a ratio to 18 girls. Yeah. Or sometimes 14 boys to 18 girls. Okay. That's what that sign means. Okay. But ratio never has a unit, so we will get rid of the unit. We say 14 as a ratio to 18, okay? And that is the ratio boys to girls. However, ratios like uh, fractions, for instance, you always have to give it its most simple form, okay? So I've got to simplify, I've got to take out the common factor, yeah? So 14 to 18, I have to simplify that to seven to nine. And that means for every seven boys, there are nine girls, okay? And let's say my classroom is uh, the example classroom for the rest of the school. So let's say all classrooms uh, have the same amount, uh, the same ratio. Then we could um, uh, calculate, uh, for instance, the amount of boys. Let's say if there are uh, 81 girls in the entire school, how many boys are there going to be in the entire school? And hopefully now you see the relationship with proportion. Yeah, so that is a factor of nine. So there are going to be 63 boys, yeah? Because a ratio is seven to nine, if I then have uh, boys to girls, if I have 81 girls, that means that I'll have 63 boys, yeah? Same factor, okay. So ratio, always give it as in its simplest form. Now that was just a quick introduction. Please go to my next video to have a look at, yeah, types of questions you're gonna get involving ratio. I'll see you there.